Okay, let's add one level of complexity to our project and go ahead and build it again. So now a typical thing people would include with an application would be something like a document and a readme file. So we've got a readme file we've added here. If you go into your files folder, uh, where we just were, but instead of going into folder number one, going into folder number two, you'll see all this stuff in here. Okay, so we've got our original application. Now we've got a document, an Adobe PDF called Quick Start. And that's a Quick Start guide. And we've got our readme file that I just opened. That's got some license information. And we need to create an installer for this. So let's go ahead and start up Setup Factory again. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did last time. We've got our Create a New Project button. And the nice thing about Setup Factory 7.0 is that it remembers the stuff that we used last time. So the last application we built is now in here by default. We can just go ahead and press Next. We'll switch this uh, file folder. We'll use the Browse button and we'll go into our Source Files, Files, Number 2 folder. Okay. Press OK. Then we'll press Next. And we'll keep our same settings from our last installer just by pressing Next, Next, Next and so forth. Press the Finish button. And here we go. We've got our project. It's ready to go. We can actually go ahead and just publish it right now again. So I'll publish it to a single file and we'll go ahead and preview that file. So let's go ahead and install this and see how it works. I'm going to press next and just go through this process again. Again, we've got the same professional installer we had in the last lesson, but this time it now includes those other files. So we'll go ahead and install that with these default values. Okay press finish and now when we go to the program menu you can see your headline grabber is installed and we can go ahead and launch it again. Now the only problem here is that you don't see your documents here, right? They're there because if we go into the program files folder here you can see that in the head headline grabber folder that you can see the quick start PDF and the readme file. So they did get installed with our application. The only problem is they didn't go to the start menu, which is actually what we wanted. We wanted people to be able to see that those documents were there. So let's go ahead and uninstall this and then rebuild it with that option in place. So we're using our uninstaller from our program menu and it was that quick. It took the application completely off our ma machine and we can go back to our project file here and make our edit. Now what we want to do is we want there to be a shortcut to our application as well as our quick start guide on the program menu. So let's go ahead and double click on our quick start PDF in the menu here and go into the shortcuts tab. You see here where it says start menu app folder. Let's go ahead and click that. We'll press OK and let's go ahead and publish our file again. So we go to publish, build and we're just going to build it the same way we did before. We're going to overwrite the existing file and we're going to go ahead and run this installer. Okay, we've got our same installer with our Euro theme and our black background. We'll press next. We'll put our name in here. And then we'll go ahead through. We can accept all the default values and just let it install. Now it's finished installing and we can go to our program folder, our program menu rather, and you can see that now we've got a reference to our quick start guide right here in the program menu. So that when the user goes to check where our application has been installed, they actually see that sitting in there. So we can actually go ahead and quick click on that and it would start up. Okay, so that's how we build our second project here. And that's with the addition of a readme file and a document. It's a very simple project as you can see and this will meet a lot of people's basic needs. You know, basically you're just installing a single application with a couple of files. And what we'll do now is again, we'll add another level of complexity to what we've done here and we'll move on to the next video lesson.